What is going on, everybody? It's your boy, John from the Game Dude here. Welcome to the another episode of Day Europa V3 Killing Harmony. In the last episode, we left off and we have to talk to Maki and Kaido. Yes. Anyway, I'm excited to talk to Maki and Kaido because uh, Kaido, though, and Maki, too. Honestly, two characters I thoroughly love and enjoy. So, yeah, hopefully, you enjoyed this episode with me as we are really just going to carry on real freaking quick i have different lighting situations going on and i don't know if i like this one i don't think i like this one as well as i did on the previous one um because like but here's the thing if i turn this off it's too dark but if i like it's just too light as well this is this one's too bright i feel um i have to either move it or figure out what i want to do with it hey it's kibo it's mookie whoa ah Another Monokuma thingy. Yo! Look at us go. That was like, I was completely not ready for that. Okay, we got more things than I thought. Hey, Kibo. Shuichi. Shuichi, what's the matter? I recommend that you return to your room. It is nighttime. The nighttime announcements, okay. announcements have just played. Oh, yes. After I'm done, I will head straight on down. Yeah. Yes, please do so. Another murder could occur if you're out of your room at night. I guess. That's right. I don't want to think about the killing game starting up again. Kokichi said all of those unsettling things earlier. That's right. Kaido may have silenced him at the time, but I can't imagine Kokichi being easily swayed. But, but Kokichi's never serious. But that was probably all his idea of a joke, right? Hmm. He may have been joking, but he may have been serious too. It is difficult to determine the sincerity of his statements. Remember. That's true. I never have any idea what he's thinking, and that's what makes him dangerous. Yeah. Either way, we should not let our guard down. Another murder should not occur as long as we stay vigilant. Yeah, yeah let's do our best. Cool, I got interaction with Samugi. Anyways, that's kind of what I was looking for. I was like, if I can get an interaction with both of them, best case scenario. Hmm. Kaido, what's wrong? Do you have to use the bathroom again? Nope. He's been like this because of what happened. What happened? What's wrong? Are you not feeling well? Nah. No. I'm fine. My stomach just hurts is all. Hey, for today's exercise, instead of... Or for today's training, instead of exercise... Ah. How about the three of us just talk? Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Is a yikes. But emotional intelligence is important. And we all know that. But I... Uh, the, the we need to talk... Talk is the scariest talk. Huh? What? What? Talk about what? Idiot. Stupid. Nobody decides what they talk about before they even start. Well, let's go find somewhere to sit. Gotta pick a random spot in the courtyard, and we all just sat down. So, what are we gonna talk about? I don't know, Kaido. You told us we're talking today. Didn't you just say we didn't have to decide that? That's true. He did say that too. Come on, man. That was just a joke. Uh, uh, right. Then, hmm. let's talk about Maki. Why Maki specifically, Kaido? Me? What about me? You know, like general stuff about you. There's a lot of stuff we don't know. For example, what blood type do you like? What blood type do you like? Kaido! <laughs> she ain't a vampire! Type do I like? Don't you mean what's my blood type? Hmm? Did I say something weird? Well, whatever. <laughs> Kaito, you're kind of bad at this. <laughs> this is why there's a different thing. This is why I like Kaito for a different reason. Then you ask something. What's your question for her, huh? Am I like a guinea pig to you guys? Well, I have been meaning to ask. When we first met, you said you were the ultimate child caregiver. Why was that? Shuichi, that's way too direct. You can't just cut to the chase like that. You absolutely can. Oh, really? Sorry. All right, then. Let's play it safe and ask her about her favorite spaceship. Oh, my God, Kaido. I grew up in an orphanage. Hmm? I don't know anything about my parents. 
They were gone before I can remember. What's scary is we're getting Maki's story, right? What's scary to me about this is that Danganronpa, like, my, the laws of Danganronpa means this either goes two ways. I really want this to go in the positive pathway because I've been doing a free time event so I know some of this stuff already. But the fact that we're explicitly getting this scares me. Maki slowly began to tell us her story. At the orphanage where I lived, the older kids had to take care of the younger ones. Because of that, I started looking after the younger ones. I see. So that wasn't a lie then. For some reason, kids like me, but I'm not particularly fond of taking care of them. Maybe that suits you better than being an assassin. Nope. It's not a matter of whether it suits me or not. I never had the right to choose from the start. Huh? The right to choose. <sighs> when I was around 10 years old, these strangers started visiting the orphanage. At first, they seemed like normal, kind men. With smiles on their faces, they watched the kids play, but the men never approached them. Thinking back on it, I am sure they were just scoping our talents. Huh? They were scoping for us, or scouting for assassins? And that's why you were picked? Okay. I didn't want to go, but I heard that they would donate a huge sum of money if I did. I remember thinking that I had to go, but that was the beginning of hell. Ever since that day, I trained to become an assassin. I think I had some natural talent to begin with, but I worked incredibly hard as well. If I couldn't keep up as an assassin, the orphanage would no longer receive funding. And then, I wouldn't have a purpose in life anymore. Training was difficult. I vomited every day, and cried every night. But after vomiting and crying over and over again, my heart gradually became empty. Eventually, I got used to it. It was the same after my first job. For a while, I couldn't eat or sleep. But after doing this for such a long time, I felt numb. There were times I wondered why I had to kill these strangers. But I eventually stopped thinking about that. I adapted to the lifestyle of killing people, of stealing their lives and of being a horrible person. Even to this day, I think the same thing after I finish a mission. What is it? What would I have been like if I stayed at the orphanage? I still think about that all the time. Maki sighed deeply after bearing her soul. That's all. It wasn't an interesting story to listen to, was it? Uh, okay. Interesting? No, Maki. That was the burden you've been carrying. All of this. Ah. Jeez, you're carrying too many burdens for someone so small. You know... Well, I could say the same to Shuichi. Uh, um... Really? Listen up. Don't try and shoulder everything on your own. You've got to trust other people. Once you're able to share your burdens with your friends... Then, you will become stronger. <laughs> well, if Makiro was able to talk this much, it means she's already gotten a bit stronger already. That's true. It might be thanks to this training. Got it. Well, obviously, my training is based on a systematic method. Uh, um... That's kind of vague. We spent a long time talking about whatever came to our minds. Most of it was meaningless conversation, but... It might have been the first time I was able to actually have fun and forget this place. To protect my friends. I need to reveal the truth of this academy. I need to face the truth and reveal it to the world. I have to. To keep my friends alive. Oh god! 
Uh, it's a white half will wither than freshly made of rice, and the black half is blacker than the darkest of night. Did you call for me? It is the Mono 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 Kuma! Hmm. You actually came. Uh, oh my god. Uh, so I guess I am allowed to do this, huh? <laughs> is it really okay for me to talk to you in private like this? Yeah. Technically, it's not a rule violation. Besides, I can't pass up an opportunity to make this killing game more exciting. Right? Right? I was thinking the same thing. Uh, this fun and vicious killing game is like the only thing on my mind. And another thing. <laughs> With that said, um, you're not going to try and use the motive. You really don't get it. <laughs> you don't get it. A crazy motive like this should be used in a more dramatic way. No. That's what I've been thinking. So I tried coming up with ways to use it. Well, you know. And I finally came up with an idea. So this is my proposal. A certain someone is planning um, something interesting. So what if he used the motive there? <laughs> then I think that would really spice up this game. So, are you in? <laughs> You really are an evil bastard! Yeah. Of course, I am the ultimate supreme leader, you know. Let's have more fun. I will drag this world in the pits of terror using my villainous power to commit evil. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, I thought we were getting a cutscene. I thought we were getting a cutscene. I was like, oh god! You can trust a dishonest man to be a dishonest. It is the honest ones you gotta watch out for. Cause you can never predict when they're gonna do something incredibly stupid. It's honestly easier to go through life without us telling a single lie. Which means honest people are just lazy jerks who'd rather coast through life. Uh, by the way, the recent trend of encouraging honesty is actually a lie. You see, the better for the, it's better for the liars if there are more honest people in the world to deceive. They've been lying about the tr that trend, so there can be more stupid, honest people! But that might be a lie, too! <laughs> oh, it might. Liar, liar. Oh. Actually, this is an official announcement from the Ultimate Academy. It is now 8 a.m. Oh. Where, where did he run off to? Probably with some other woman, I bet. <laughs> but that's fine. As long as he's happy, I'm fine with that. Don't worry. Maybe not today, but someday I'm gonna be happy too. Oh. Monotaro. Darling, what's the matter? Monofunny. Monofunny? Like Gwen Stefani? <laughs> I don't know, that's the first name that went, that, okay. I finally remember. Oh. I need you, Monofani. I... Too convenient, huh? I know I'll only hurt you more by saying stuff like that. <laughs> I'm sorry for everything. <laughs> Goodbye. Hey. Wait, you silly man! Yeah. Huh? Monotone. My goodness, your body is coming apart! You really can't do anything on your own, can you? All right, come here and I'll sew you back up. <laughs> Thank you, Monofane. Thank you. <laughs> Why are you crying? That's so not like you. The end. <sighs> if only it was the end of the Monoco announcements, I was I'm already freaking done with them. Literally, no Monodom, no need for them is literally where my brain is at. What the hell kind of ending was that? That was way too long for an well. announcement. Well, I need to go to the dining hall. To the dining hall we go! Level 48 hype! I don't know, I just saw level 48 and went high. Who is gonna be on our way to the dining hall? Watch that be like nobody. Just 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 straight up we see no one on our way to the dining hall. Nobody exists right now. 
That tracks. Honestly, that would absolutely track. Just nobody is present. Oh, hi, Himiko. Look, you're the only one that actually says hi to me in the mornings anymore. Like, what the heck? Oh. Good morning, Himiko. Mm -hmm. It's you, Shuichi. This morning was very unfortunate. Huh? Did something happen? Mm. What are you saying? The Mana Cup's drama ended. Mm. Monotaro awakened to love, and it looked like a new development, but then it was over the next day. So you were looking forward to that, huh? Okay. I thought maybe it was going to turn out that Monophane had a baby in her stomach. How <laughs> about that? And that it actually be a child of one of the dead Mana Cubs. <laughs> It'd be Monodom's child, let's be real. Uh -huh. those, uh, those are the kind of melodramatic twists that and turns that I would expect. But... I'm not sure it would be fun to watching a melodrama like that. Yeah. No, no, no. This is a typical daytime soap opera stuff. Like, next she'll burn the roast and then bang, zoom. What the hell is she even talking about? You're right. Well, if it's already over, then that's that. That's right. Throwing away my regrets and moving forward. That's the new way of life. It is the new way of life. Throwing away all the regrets. Himiko well, does seem to know a lot about soap operas. <laughs> oh, Himiko. Love you, girl. You're great. Okay. We're missing peeps. Where's me? Where are Mew and Kokichi? Jeez. I understand why Kokichi's gone, but where's Mew? She's probably still messing with that computer on the fourth floor. That's right. Or she might be in her lab working on another invention. I saw her half built machines in her lab, and she performed maintenance on me, too. Hmm. Well, messing with the machines and computers is all about is about all she's good for. What could she be up to? Huh? Gonta, what's wrong? Um Gonta's still thinking yet yeah, or thinking. Since yesterday, how can Gonta be useful? But But Gonta no can think of anything. It's so frustrating. Come on, man. Okay, but you don't need to make such a scary face. Besides, it's not just you. That's something that uh, we all gotta think about. That's right. We should all be thinking about how what we can do to survive. Mm. Use your self-destruct system and save us. That's how robots make themselves useful. Hey! Even though that is true, let us at least hesitate before you blurt out something like that. But you have to admit it's true, though. I guess. I'll keep thinking about it. Um, if I come up with a good idea, I'll just tell you guys. All right. Now that that's settled, let's eat. If we don't eat well, we can't think well. There. After we finished eating our breakfast, we returned to our rooms. We needed to gather our thoughts. We were completely unaware that an unspeakable malice was brewing. Oh God, what in the world are what to do? What can I do? The only thing I'm good for is solving mysteries, but I can't figure out this academy. I don't have any clues, but that's no excuse. Three time, uh, gotta go see somebody. <laughs> Don't know who yet. <laughs> Honestly, don't know who yet. Um, I kind of want to play an interesting game, but that's an, that interesting game is scary. Would it have panned out, though? I would have say that that interesting game would have panned out. It would have been an interesting day. Um, and if you guys can figure out what interesting game I was going to play, um, then... Let me know what you guys think that it was. To be fair, I think it would have panned out regardless. But... Oh, wow. Nobody's... Maki's in the dining room. Ah! It's hard. I hate making this choice of... Oh, she is in the computer room. This choice is difficult because the choice is either progress a link that I know I'm doing well on or go see somebody new. And I, I think I've made my decision. I think, honestly, if I don't talk to this girl once, I'll be upset with myself. And if this one time ends up costing me with Maki, I gotta accept it at this point. I said that I wasn't gonna just bum rush a link to bum rush a link. 
and Maki's next if we have another one, but I need to talk to Kimmy Girls. Cause I'm a mate. There's one thing I gotta do. I'll support you with my magic. Should I hang out with Himiko? Yes. That's fine. <laughs> Leave it to me. Nothing's impossible with my magic. But there's even a limit to my magical powers. Make sure that you understand that. Oh, we will. Don't worry. I spent time with Himiko today. Himiko and I grew a little closer. Would you like to give Himiko a present? Yes. We have a magic thing. A book that contains old magic and from all over the country. Ah. Mm, yes, this will do. Now I can recover my MP. Mm. Well, it's still not big enough to power a spig spell. Mm. Hey, Himiko. Um, Himiko. What? She looks annoyed. Her glare is telling me to go away. Uh, um, if you don't want me don't want to talk to me, you could have just turned me down, you know. What a pain. I'm too lazy to say no. Hmm. Oh, I see. I never thought someone was so thoroughly lazy. But that is strange. Um, hey, Mihimiko, why did you decide to decide to become a magician? Okay. I'm not a magician. I'm a mage. And I use real magic. Don't get it wrong. It's magic. It's real magic, okay? You get it right. Then show me some real magic. Then... Yeah, well, that's... There's no mana here, so I can't... So I can't. If you sacrificed yourself, I could. No. I'd rather not be sacrificed, so I'm gonna decline. Mm. Well, that's too bad. I guess you're just not passionate enough about magic. Not passionate enough to sacrifice myself, maybe. Hmm. Anyways, what were we talking about? Why I'm a mage? Why are you asking about that? That's... Well, that's because... Isn't it strange that such a lazy girl would go through so much work for a magic trick? Remember. It seems like magic requires a ton of work to prepare, oh, so... Geez. A typical amateur question. Uh, you don't need annoying preparations for magic. <laughs> oh, I see. Because I'm a mage. I'm talented. Not relying on my talent would be going against the master's teaching. Hmm. Master? You have a master, Himiko? Yes. Hmm? Did I not tell you? Okay. This is the first time I'm hearing of it, so there are apprentice magicians? Hmm, mm, that's right. My master was an amazing archmage. Wait! Hey, wait. You call me a magician again. I'm a mage. <laughs> oh, Himiko. I had to spend some time calming Himiko down, who had become quite pouty. I wonder what kind of person Himiko's master is. Okay, sounds like we still got more time. That's because we do! Yas! Okay, we have more time. So Maki is who we're going to see. Because I do want to at least progress Maki. I feel like if we don't progress Maki, I will get upset as well. Like, I'm sorry, guys, of Danganronpa V3. But honestly, the girls are gonna be the ones that get it, gets attention. Oh, Maki and Kaido are together. <sighs> Me. The guys are gonna be the ones, or the girls that get attention. Not the guys. Literally, Kaido. I'm gonna challenge that. There's a challenge on that play. Gosh dang it, Kaido. Why do you do this to me, buddy? Your entire goal. It is to make this difficult. And you literally have done just that. Because I think Maki is in my lab. Ah! The fact that Kaido was right there and I have to stew between the decisions is not easy. But Maki it is. By the way, it is sort of strange that Monokuma hasn't done anything to us yet. And also, the motive card key that Kokichi took is somewhere out there. <sighs> it's fine if nothing happens, but maybe I'm just overthinking this? I spent some time with Maki. 
Baki and I grew a little closer. Would you like to give Baki the present? Yes, we would. So I believe we have the bag. Oh shit, we're out of bags. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Rut row, Raggy. We're out of literally the thing that I know she loves. Uh oh. Yikes, I don't have the thing I know she likes. excited sorry but i don't intend to give you empty thanks because of social obligations yeah i figured damn um shit i should have gone to kaido my i knew better is kaido or maki looking for me mew hey puichi hey there puichi no what about Gooichi or Spooichi? <laughs> well, whatever! To pick any nickname you want. Huh? Mew, what are you doing here? Ah, I figured me and the twins could start, swing by, and pay your version as a visit! Got a boner yet? Hey. What are you doing here? Ah. What am I doing here? Ah. Cheer up! Uh, thanks to me, you're gonna leave this confining place. Huh? What, we can escape? Booyah! Just come to the computer room on the fourth floor of the academy. There's no rush, so if you want to rub one out while you're thinking me, you got some time. <laughs> <laughs> you better bring back the crusty tissues afterwards, though. Oh my god, Mew. Oh my god. Despite what she's saying, she doesn't sound that all that serious. But I shouldn't just ignore her. The computer room is on the fourth floor. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. This is another person I actually had things for. Um, yeah, I could have hung out with Mew today, but, you know, I can't do her voice anymore. Her voice literally killed me, so it's okay. Um. Oh, no. Oh, lordy. Lordy, 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 Okay. I think this is the last thing of the episode, too, which is just peachy. Hi, uh, Himiko. Why are you out there? That's great. I love that for you, Himiko. Um. Bye, Himiko. I, yeah, I, I have more important things to do with our big titty woman for no reason. Other than red computer room that she's been hacking into and being crazy. Oh my god, everybody's here. Oh lord. Hmm. As I suspected, she, everyone was brought here. Ha, Don't act virgin. all depressed just because you didn't spend any alone time with me. Do I look depressed to you? Actually, there's no way we would w wouldn't show up when you told us there's a chance of escape. Mm. But I still think something smells fishy. Uh, really? Doesn't it smell like something's 
Good fun's gonna happen instead? Jeez. You always seem to show up for stuff like this. I've got you figured out. Thanks. Thanks. The key to a mutual friendship is understanding each other. Oh, I'm right already. So, what's this way of getting out of here? Hmm. Is there really a way? Sure. D -doy! Of course there is! Devious is like me never make mistakes. Uh, hey. How are we gonna escape? Out of my way! We're going to another world! A world with no killing games and no Matakuma! Huh? Another world? What? Oh, you wanna know, huh? Do ya? <laughs> oh, tell you if you value me! Uh, I'm on your knees uh, now! What? Huh? Why? <laughs> When Shuichi and Kaede bow to me, it kind of awoke something in me. Uh, call back chapter Fuck one. Now hurry the fuck up and bow to me, you misogynistic shits! Mm -hmm. Huh? Shouldn't you be the one bowing down to us? Uh? What? <gasps> uh, well, you, know. uh, you want us to listen, right? Then get down on your knees and beg like a dog. Uh, Why? What the hell? Uh, isn't that weird? You get it? Everyone is wasting their precious time on a worthless piece of trash like you. So you better bow down and beg. Come on, hurry it up. Um, Why? I stayed up all night getting this ready for everyone. Alrighty. Okay then, everyone, let's go. Wait. Wait. Damn. Damn, Kokichi actually got me to do this. I wanna talk about it. Oh, wow. Kokichi actually got Mew to do this. Oh, Lord. Hmm. I actually feel sorry for her. Oh. Hey, at least hear her out. See? Uh, did you hear that, Mew? Good for you. Uh, you get it? How long are you going to be depressed for? You so? Uh, hurry up and tell us, you squid breath. Uh, <laughs> yes, sir. Please forgive um, me. When I said another world, I was talking about this big-ass computer. Huh? What? This? Um. Th there's this device connected to the computer when that you put your on your head. It uploads your consciousness so w you can go to the world created by the computer program. Oh, she, okay. It's that coming back. Interesting. The Neo World Program, huh? How did you discover it? What? A world created by a computer program? Got it. Oh, got to understand. Exit is in a computer box, so we got to break it open and go in. Ah! No! If you try and force your way in, you'll destroy it! Mm. Uh, you mean this is virtual reality, right? Um. It's m more than just virtual reality. It's a, a virtual world? Because your, your consciousness will be able to move around as if you're in the real world. Huh? Ah. It's like the Matrix. I saw that in a movie about a sort of thing on TV when I was little. That being said. All right, now let's huh? go. Huh? Go like to the virtual world? Sure. Yeah, let's all go together. I don't want No way. <laughs> well, why? You promised that we'd all come to at the same time. What? I didn't promise anything. What are you talking about? Um, Just in case, I should ask a question. What's going to happen to our consciousness when we were inside the computer? Right. Oh, so we're avatars as our new bodies link to our consciousness to the virtual world. Why? How do you know this? <laughs> you told me already. I helped to prepare our trip to the virtual world. I bought all our seats here. In exchange, I made her tell me the reason. Uh, um. So that's the apolo- or that's what the apology was? Um, what you guys talk about? What's this at Wuta? Which means their characters in a rep are, that will represent you while you're in the virtual world. Ah. In other words, this computer will transfer our consciousness from our bodies and show them as new avatars inside the virtual world, and then we will have wrong. new bodies in a new world in a world without murder and Monokuma. Uh, um. 
so then what will happen to our real bodies? Hmm. Your body will basically be asleep for the duration. In that sense, it will be like a dream. Booyah! All right, let's go. No. Like I said, uh, we're not going. It's definitely dangerous. Ah! Shut the fuck up, you donkey lips. I'm telling you it's not fucking dangerous. I don't wanna. Saying that makes it sound even more dangerous. <laughs> What, what the? Am I re really that untrustworthy? Listen up. Well then, you'll be relieved to know that I didn't even create this virtual world. Someone else made it, apparently. That's even more scary, because considering that I have knowledge from other games. What? Someone else? Um, hey Mew, who made the virtual world? Leave it to my That's right! It was me! Uh, I knew it. Press and shoulder sign. Daddy! Oh, Daddy! You gotta really do anything! Um, uh, Daddy. Which one's my Daddy? None of them. Only Monofaini gets Daddies. Him, he's my daddy. You do not want Kibo as your daddy, but okay. Please stop. No, I am not. Let me explain. Allow me to explain. I used a certain program as a template to create the virtual world. Da, 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 da. And that program is a killing game simulator. What? Killing game simulator? Yeah. Well, with that, I made up my mind. I definitely will not go there now. Wait. Wait. What? I said wait, damn, damn it! If Monica made it, then it's dangerous for sure. I, I pulled an all minor investigating it, and I've deleted everything dangerous from it. Uh, it's definitely safe, I swear. Oh, there's no need to worry. Uh, it's just a simulator, right? Well. No, this is a Monica we're talking about. It may not even be a real simulator. Dong, dong, dong. Daddy's right. What? Wait, whose side are you on? I'm not your daddy. You. How cruel. Why will you not accept him as your child for now? Incomprehensible. Uh, for now? I can't play along. He's not even my child. You, know. you guys are only bitching because you haven't been to the virtual world yet. Uh, but once you go in, you'll understand. Uh, What's the problem? Seriously, it's so fucking awesome. I know you guys are going to love it. Uh, and then you're going to fall in love with me for showing it to you guys. Uh, with me. So let's type in okay. Uh, let's do it together. Uh, but... But... It's a world that Monokuma created, right? Just the tip is if you fine. don't want to dive in, you can just dip the tip. Hey! The tip of what? Uh, but you just said you pulled an eye all nighter, adjusting everything, right, Mew? So that means it was originally a killing game similar a simulator, but not anymore. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, th th that's right. I rewrote the program to delete all the dangerous objects that would have been used as weapons. Mommy. That's what a good mommy would do. What? M mommy Yes. What a weird sensation in my chest. I is this what it feels like to be a mom? How exciting! Hey, uh, let's trust Mew. We should trust in our friends more anyway. Uh, why are you even on Mew's side? Uh -uh. I'm not taking your side, but it's like I have a feeling we'll find something in that world. What uh, is it? Something. Hmm. I mean, Monokuma created this world, right? Maybe he laid bait to lure us in. <laughs> like a super duper crazy hidden secret in that world. Uh, um, a secret? <laughs> well, uh, Monokuma did prepare some sort of bait for us, yes? Huh? Oh, bait? Yeah, of course I have! Uh, huh? Really? This is the first time I've heard of this! Okay. Me too. Yes. Mommy's hearing this for the first time too. She accepted him? Yeah. yeah. Like what he said, uh, there's like a crazy hidden super secret somewhere in that virtual world. It's a secret of the outside world. Huh? Secret of the outside world? Yeah. All I can tell you about it is a secret that is gonna that if you get your hands on it, Yay! you'll instantly learn what's happening on the outside of the academy. Uh -huh. Hold on. What's happening on the outside? What are you talking about? It's like he's saying something's going on right out there, but this can't be right. Mm. 
Do you think it has to do with the meteorites? <laughs> no, is your curiosity peaked? Then you have no choice but to go. Right? Yeah, we want to know. So we'll definitely go. Uh, um... Kokichi, what's going on here? Did you know about this all along? That Monokuma was hiding a secret in the virtual world? Oh, don't joke around, around like that. It's just a hunch. Anyway, we can't ignore it. It's possible we might be, find info on the outside world. Maybe with that info, we could even put an end to this killing game. Huh? We can end killing game? Got it. Then Gata will go. Gata will go to this virtual world. You can't! Wait, you can't. It's probably a trap set by Monokuma. But... But... If there's even a small chance that we can stop the killing game, we should take it. I heard it. Yes. That's what my inner voice is telling me. Hmm. Oh, are you still talking about your inner voice? Uh, we're already sick of all of that Intua stuff. Listen uh, closely. As I mentioned before, this has nothing to do with Angie's influence. Whenever I'm lost, my inner voice tells me what to do. I have always obeyed that voice, and I will continue to do so. We must That do is it. why I am going to go to that virtual world. All right. Then I'm going to. Huh? You too, Kaido? Got it. Yeah. This secret of the outside world stuff worries me, but I want to check out this world. Call me a man, or call it a man's curiosity. The idiot's at it again. Thank you for actually voice lining that. I'm saying that, dang it, Rope Team. Thank you, because it's literally what I'm thinking. Literally, Maki is my vibe right now. It's like, oh my god, boyfriend, can you actually just shut the frick up and actually be rational for once? No, because you have a lot different of a thought process, and I'm more pessimistic, and you're optimistic. But still, anyway. Shut up! When a man loses his curiosity, he ages. The curiosity is what moves a man. Oh, then I'm like 80. I don't care. <laughs> you can stop talking now, but I guess I'll be an idiot too. Huh? Wait, you're going in too, Maki? What do you mean? Of course. You're coming along, right, Chuichi? Don't say no because it's dangerous. We've been in danger for a while now. That's true. My ability is to gather evidence and reveal the truth, so I can't run away from you're this. You're right. All right. I'll go too. You can't! But why? It's definitely going to be dangerous. It's true! No matter how dangerous it gets, we just have to do it. Mm. Fine, I'll go too. Being left behind will just make me worry. Okay. Then everyone except Samugi is going. Stop! Wait, if everyone's gonna go, I'll do it too. Don't follow the leader, Samugi. Be smart. You're actually being smart, girl. <laughs> okay, now everyone's going. Um. Kokichi, are you planning something? <laughs> of course not. After Kaido punched me, I've become a changed man. <laughs> so relax and just trust me, okay? Yeah, that's the last thing we need to do with you, Kokichi. Literally the last thing we need to do with you, Kokichi. That being said. All right, let's then let's get started before your cockroaches change your damn minds. Fucking slugs. First, each of you gotta grab a helmet and play your ass in one of those seats. I understand. Okay, fine. With Mew instructing us, we got into the position around the computer. You see those two ports on the back of the visor? You mean this? That's where our eyes are going. That's where you plug oh, in the no. two cords that connect you to the computer! Ah, these cords. The red cord is for consciousness, and the blue cord is for memory. I could start throwing down some real fancy techno jargon, but you idiots wouldn't get it. All you need to know is those cords will cram your consciousness and memory into the virtual world. Just don't shove them into the wrong hole. And yes, that is what she said. <laughs> okay. Okay, fine. If she said so. So then, which cords to which ports? Put the red consciousness cord in the right port and the blue memory cord in the left. Out of curiosity, what happens if you switch the cords? I don't know. I've never done that before. Probably gets all glitchy or something. Maybe you'll become a vegetable. Maybe you'll body swap with someone. Who knows? Well, I guess we'll just have to be careful not to switch the cords then. It's okay. If you stay calm, then there won't be any problems. Okay. So I hold my chopstick in my right hand. So calm down, Himiko. After fiddling around, we were all hooked up to the device. Listen up! 
Then you just gotta put that helmet on your head. Finally press the button near your temple and you'll be whisked away to the virtual world. A paradise more beautiful than the real world where there's no murder and no Monokuma. So when Gonta press avatar person, the Gonta take virtual world place? For the love of, yeah, sure, whatever, whatever makes sense to you. By the way, I tweaked your avatars to make them resemble you guys. In fact, I compared your most current looks to... Or, to compare to your most current looks, they're a major development. Congrats, Miko. You don't need to pay for expensive plastic surgery anymore. Mm. I never wanted plastic surgery. I like my face. Jeez. Uh, I'm still nervous about this. Shut up! Shut the fuck up and just do it already, you four eyes! Got it. All right. Everyone, let's go. We can't ignore the... Chi our chance to discover clues on the outside world. All right. Let's go. See ya. Have a good time. I placed my helmet on my head, and after taking a deep breath, I turned on the switch. And then, Yep, the Neo World program. Oh lord. Oh lord. Oh lord. Oh god. Uh oh. What the hell did we just do? What the hell did we just do? In an instant, we were standing in the other world. Yes, we were there. Oh, we're like chibi! Also, it did work. I just want to say, I changed the uh, the thing in my doodle for Steam. It still came up, but it didn't come up on your freaking thing, and it didn't distract me or here for it. Improve it! We're all chibi fied now. Uh, um. This is. Hmm. So this is the virtual world. Seems like. Seems like it. It's completely different from the world we were told. Why? These graphics are really disappointing. Uh, how is this supposed to be better than the real world? Uh, these avatars look really disappointing too. Like, I wanted to have a face of a supermodel. Hmm. I thought you liked your face. Hmm. I still have a robot body, and I must admit, this is secret. I was secretly expecting more. So, you were hoping to see a change, Kibo? But you know. But it feels weird. I can move this avatar like my own body, right? With this body, I don't have to worry about all that stuff. Huh? What stuff? Uh, no, it's nothing. I'm right already. I want to go back. Wait! That was quick. Oh. oh, so this is the virtual world. I see, I see. Uh, I see. And this is my avatar. Mm hmm. I get it now. <laughs> Ouch. Uh, How rude. What did you do that for? Oh, so that hurt. <gasps> well, now that you mention it, I felt genuine pain right now. Wow. That's pretty impressive. If you felt the pain, then it means that our senses are connected. Got a minute? <gasps> our senses are connected? <laughs> this place is so great. I've came here all the time. It's way better than the real world. Hey. What the heck are you talking about, you fraud? This is totally different from what you said. Plus, the avatar has disappointing graphics. <gasps> Your looks are nothing to write home about. Trust me, you're like a billion times better now. What was that? By the way. Anyway, what do you mean our senses are connected? I need an explanation. Um, huh? I didn't tell you? Uh, Ouch. But... It means this goes well beyond the realm of virtual reality. We're actually connected. Please stop. <gasps> We get it. Stop hitting me. Hmm. No can do. Even if they're avatars, I never hit a person. That's robophobic. Even here? I can't escape your robophobia? <sighs> How is our senses set up? Ah. When your avatar receives a sensory input, electrical signals are sent to your brain. Your brain interrupts those signals as if experienced the sensory input for real. So... 
So even if we're not pla being punched in the brain, the senses of pain that cause those signals. Oh, I see. And since you don't leave any bruises, you can hit all you want. Oh, dear. That's a bully's twisted logic. Weird. Hey, why do bodies like this? Is this Himiko's magic? Well, there's a lot of things going on right now, but you don't have to worry about it, Kanta. Uh, um, so exactly how are we supposed to find the secret of the outside world? You know... We don't have to... We, we don't even have to know where to start looking. That's right. First, we need to learn about more about this world. Is there a map available? Ah. Yeah, I've got a map, but first I gotta give you a quick warning about this world. What? Huh? A warning? Do you need to be quicker on the draw and stuff like that? Huh? I am plenty quick on the draw, but not too quick. Because then you'll pull out all the time. Cut it out. Shut up. Uh, I wonder what are the what the rules are. I found or I wonder what the rules for this place could be. Oh, cool. So, in the next episode of Danganronpa V3, Killing Harmony, we will investigate the virtual world of the Mia World program. Completely set up different and set up by our girl Mew. Definitely scary. But we'll see you guys in the next one. See ya!